Welcome back to the workshop. I'm Josh. This week, I'm here with Steve. Uh, last week, Steve and I sharpened a Tonto blade. This week, we're going to take my bailout, which is a Tonto blade, and turn it into a drop point. We'll call it the dropout. So I think what, what would be fun to do, uh, this is my bailout. I like the new ones and uh, because I've used this one as kind of like a demo knife it shows and showing how to sharpen tontos, but I think it's lived its, its life as a tonto. And I wanna show some people how to turn this into a drop point style blade. Cool. We know it can be done and luckily it's, uh, it's 3V, so it's relatively easy to sharpen and, yeah, and soft to remove material. Um, you said you haven't done that before. I have not. But you want to give it a try? Yeah, it's your knife. Yeah. <laughs> when you originally asked me about this, mm -hmm. started thinking about it, and I was like, how would I do this? So this is a drop point shape that mm -hmm. I really enjoy. I love the bug outs. They're just really nice little knives. It's a cool little shape, too. I like the mini. So what I was messing around with, because I have the bailout also, was just laying that drop point up against there, you know, lining up the... The cutting edges over here, lining up the points here, just to see what that would really look like. Yep. And realistically, we don't need to remove much material. Yeah, I like that. To, we just need to take that transition off and just kind of roll it up into that. Mm -hmm. So if you're okay with that, that's exactly what I'll do. We'll just freehand it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you're the expert. All right, so now that we know about um, how we want to shape that and how much material we need to to take off of there, we can get started. I'm gonna, um, since we do have a decent amount of material to take off, I'm gonna start with our coarse belt, mm -hmm. um, 120 grit. Basically I can come in on here and just start shaping that transition and periodically stopping and checking it against. Yeah, and you're just totally here. gonna flatten it out. We're just gonna put that belly in it. Just gonna take that transition and start grinding off until I can basically feather the um, this edge of the knife into the tanto yep. and we'll just feather that in but yeah you're you're intentionally in a sense of just doling it you know taking that edge totally off and then you'll go back and yep. set the edge again and then we'll come back in and we'll resharpen until we get a nice consistent bevel all the way across it cool all right we have a rag here that we just soaked in water so we have something to help kind of keep it clean and make sure we don't get hot all right, you ready? I uh, guess, yeah, I feel like I should say some words to it, but uh, I'm excited to see what it comes into. It's a good start on it, and being that this is you know, your knife, um, you tell me when you think it's where you want it, want it to be. Yeah, I think we've got a little more we can do there. Okay. bug out in there but I actually really like that. Yeah I like that belly. I think that it's a little bit more hefty than the bug out. I think it'll be just mm -hmm. a great hard working blade. Yeah. Come cool. back in and sharpen it. Yeah. Yeah.
feel like All it's right. worth uh, I feel like it's worth setting this in its pile of debris here so it can be reacquainted with <laughs> with its pieces. <laughs> Yeah, through this process too, I think it's even, it's probably taken on even. Oh, it's still, yeah, it's still a little steeper belly there, but. Yeah. Shouldn't be bad though. It follows that, I really like got that good, shape. Got a good shape to it though. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah, nice work for the first time too. Nice. That's uh, smooth. Thanks for watching the bailout turn into a dropout. Steve sharpened this on the Elite Knife Sharpener. Uh, if you're going to use a powered sharpener like that, keep a wet rag or sponge, something nearby. Watch for heat as you're removing a lot of material. And I'd recommend using a, a Sharpie to mark out the blade shape that you want. Steve did this freehand using the template of the mini bug out. That's also a great way to do it. Find a knife that you like the profile of and trace that shape onto the Tonto or whatever the blade is that you're reprofiling. And lastly, have fun with it and enjoy your new custom knife. Here are our two giveaway winners this week. Uh, get in touch with us, info at derricks.com. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're giving away that Elite Sharpener to both those winners this week so that they can sharpen and reprofile their own blades. Sweet deal. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure your subscriptions are public. That way you are eligible and entered to win every week when we do the drawing. See you next week.